Welcome back to my channel, my name is Unwana Udo. I am here to help you master your personal finance and build your wealth. Today we are talking about how to use the 50, 30, 20 budget. I got the inspiration for this video from the book by Elizabeth Warren and Amelia Warren Tigies, All Your Worth, The Ultimate Lifetime Money Plan. I was very impressed by the simplicity of the 50, 30, 20 budget. Here is how to apply it to your own personal budget. Number 1. 50% for your must-haves, also referred to as the hardcore commitments. Number 2. 30% for your wants, these are things you enjoy but not a necessity. Number 3. 20% goes to savings and paying off debt. The essence of this is that there should be enough money allocated to each category and should be balanced in a 50, 30, 20 split. Here are 8 tips on how to save money while using the 50, 30, 20 budget. Number 1. Find more affordable housing. The key is to cut back on your housing expense even if it means finding a place a little further from your job. Also, getting a roommate could help reduce your housing expense, since you will be sharing household expenses with your roommate. Some of these expenses are utilities, food in some cases, cable and internet, and so on. Number 2. Start a side gig or hustle. If you find that you have too much spare time, then consider starting a side gig or hustle. Examples of these are, driving for Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, start affiliate marketing, e-commerce, blogging, YouTube channel, etc. Number 3. Reduce your insurance. You should review your auto policy and shop around for lower rates. One way to reduce your monthly premium is by selecting a higher deductible, however, make sure you save some money in the event that you need to pay your deductible. Life happens, so make sure that you are prepared. Number 4. Cut back on your food. Use coupons whenever the opportunity arises, prepare your meals at home, and joining a warehouse club are some ways you can reduce your food expense. Number 5. Delay gratification. You may have to make sacrifices with your wants in order to reach your savings goals. Number 6. Review all your living expenses. Look for ways to cut down on your electricity consumption by turning off appliances when not in use, installing auto-dimming light fixtures in your home, making sure that items like a television or air conditioner are not left on while not in use. Number 7. Re-evaluate your payments. You could save money by paying your car insurance every six months or once a year. Some insurance companies charge around $4 per month for the convenience of making monthly payments. Secondly, if you do a lot of online shopping, you should consider using sites such as Rakuten which gives you extra cashback. Number 8. Review your recurring payments. Some recurring payments are subscriptions, gym membership, streaming service, and so on. Look at your credit card statement and review all your monthly payments, you may find subscription services that you no longer use. If you found value so far, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel, let's grow this channel together. Now that you got your 50, 30, 20 budget in place, what next? Here are more tips to 10x your savings. Number 1. Build your emergency fund. If you don't have an emergency savings account, now is the time to get one. Your immediate goal is to save your first $1,000 and then work on saving at least 3 to 6 months worth of your living expenses. Number 2. Save that third paycheck. For those who are paid every two weeks, two months of the year are going to be three paychecks. Since you are used to living on two paychecks per month, this presents a great savings opportunity, make sure to save that third paycheck. Number 3. Plan and save for the future. Once you have established your emergency fund, paid off debts, and have a large savings, then you can start planning for larger expenses such as tuition payments, buying a new car, buying a home, and so on. If your future plan is to buy a home, then you must work on your credit, your debt-to-income ratio, your down payment, etc. Make sure to check the description below for more resources to help you master your personal finance and grow your wealth. If you found value in this video, all I ask of you is that you share this with someone you know that could benefit from it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.